In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you one of my favorite ways to be able to beat the cover four quarters defense in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. Now if you're new to my YouTube channel, maybe you've never been here before, my channel is all about how to become a better player in Madden 21 and one of the ways that we do that is through breaking down tips and strategies that you can use every single day that will help you become a better player. So if you have not subscribed to the channel yet, I would highly encourage you to click the subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. It's completely free and that just simply allows you to be able to know whenever we release new videos on our YouTube channel which is pretty much every single day so you don't want to miss any of the new stuff coming out all right guys so in today's video I wanted to talk a little bit about the curl flat corner this is a play that in my opinion a lot of people don't realize how good it is from the gun bunch tight end because it gets kind of overshadowed a little bit by the PA boot over or the PA all cross. But in today's video, I'd hope to shed some light on why this is such a good play um, in light of some of the things that people are doing right now. So ideally you would wanna be on the right hash mark to run this. You don't have to be, but ideally you would be on the right hash mark to run this. So curl flat corner. And what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be showing you how to use this play against the cover four quarter. So I'm gonna audible down to three, three, five wide, cover four show two which is very similar to cover four quarters. It basically is the same matching rules um, and things like that. Now, if you're um, a bunch, if you like to run gun bunch, you're gonna see a lot of this defense, in my opinion. You're gonna see a ton of this defense if you like to run gun bunch, especially if you play somebody like me. Cover four quarters is very difficult to beat, in my opinion. Um, it does a really good job against corner routes, and different things like that. So um, if I just run this play, kind of like the generic thing that you would think. So I'm gonna put the square receiver on an out route. I'm gonna put the triangle receiver on a smart routed corner. I'm gonna streak the circle receiver. And then I'm gonna do, you know, kind of whatever combination I wanna do on the backside. One of my favorite ones is quickly becoming to streak the tight end and then put the running back on a wheel route. If you don't wanna do something like that, you can put the tight end on a delay fade or delay drag route and the running back on a smart routed option route. But I want you to watch what happens here and what should happen is the triangle receiver is not gonna be open. As you see, the match coverage is gonna take this completely away and you're like, Ugh, what do I do? The beauty of the bunch tight end as compared to um, formations like the trips tight end in my opinion is you always are going to be able to use a well, trips tight end you can use motion but with this one you can use motion within your trips which is what I like so much about it is we can basically use motion snaps to help manipulate coverages and really move the ball up the field very very very, very easily so Again, if you want to get the full ebook, that is available for you in the description. But the play curl flat corner, and what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to do the same exact setup, right? So we're going to put the square receiver on an out. We're going to put the triangle receiver on a smart routed right corner route, and then we're going to circle um, or the circle receiver is going to go on a streak. And then on the back side, I personally like to put the running back on an option route. You'll see that if they're running something like a cover four match he is going to basically beat it every single time on that option route. But if you don't want to do something like that, another thing that you could do is you could do something like, uh, oops, I'm in the wrong play. Um, if you don't want to do something like that, you could do something like taking your tight end, putting him on an out route, and then putting your running back on a little streak. And you'll, you'll be surprised at how well, sometimes that streak will get wide open. It doesn't always get open, but sometimes you will. The cool part about Aaron Jones, especially in regs, is you can basically aggressive catch him and he will literally just aggressive catch everyone for whatever reason so uh anyways back to the cover four quarters in particular now once you make those adjustments what you're going to notice is the square receiver what we're going to do is we're going to motion to the sideline and snap the ball right about here this is going to cause a switch of sorts that's going to really help your offense and actually be very, very advantageous for you. So let me jump into instant replay and kind of explain what happened. Um, and the reason why you want to use an out route is because it's a vertical stemming route, meaning the, the corner knows that it's going vertical. So what you'll see here is that the corner basically will squat down onto this out route at, and as well as the quarter flat, right? You see they both are going to squat down. The next thing you're going to see is occasionally this safety will play some kind of you know some Jedi mind tricks if you will um, with this corner route 
the safety will literally, he will kind of, sometimes he'll get out there, sometimes he won't. Most of the time, I don't have an issue with him getting out there. But if he does go out there like that, you can you can basically pass lead your streak to the left. Okay, so you have really two or three options um, if you wanted to. Another thing, and I'll show you two other things here with this concept real quick, specifically against cover four quarters. But I want to run the same exact thing, and I want to show you this cover four quarters beater. And again, motion them out. And then what you'll see here is if I pass lead the the table on Austin. That's a one-play touchdown every single time, okay? So you're going to be able to score a ton on that route alone. Now, the other thing about this is your route to Devontae Adams, about 99% of the time is going to beat his guy because that's Devontae Adams running it, and he has the route tech ability. So you'll see, get him all the way out there, just pass it to the outside. Now, another thing is that, and I need to go out and grab the coverage, another coverage that is very popular, um, especially against the bunch tight end, for whatever reason, is people like to use the cover four palms, um, thinking that the cover four palms is going to do a good job against this. And I want to show you really quickly that cover four palms is not going to do a good job at all against this. So uh, we're in the same concept that we just showed you. And what you're going to see here, we're going to motion out about a scantling. And now what you should see is this is basically an up pass lead. And Devontae Adams is going to get that little swerve catch animation. Now, I will say this. Sometimes cover four palms, and it I will say this too, like with your motion snapping, it does change. So, for example, like if I just ran it like this, once again, cover four palms, you see he's going to take the first guy. And that's going to be Devontae Adams going to take it away. The motion out is what helps the play so much. Um, and the alignment of everything. So let's say they go, you know, let's say that you motion them out. And again, what you're going to notice here is typically it's a pass lead up. He does get matched relatively well by number 39, in my opinion. The beauty of the qu quarters and palms defenses is that it doesn't allow like route tech. Route tech is, is average against those, okay? Route, it, uh, route tech does not always... I don't think route tech lights up very much um, when you're using this. So that's another thing that you need to be aware of. But, you know, cover four palms does a little bit better of a job. But normally what will happen... Um, you know, normally what will happen out of this cover four palms type of look is you're going to be able to have other stuff. So, for example, if you go to tight end corner and then you just streak the slot... You will typically be able to get this over the top. Wasn't able to on that play, but you will typically be able to get that over the top. Another thing you have to remember about palms and about some of these, you know, the nature of some of this stuff is where they, you know, where they go, where, where things start to go south. So that's why tight end corner is such a powerful play because you can motion this out route out and now completely change the with the when you put him on a fade, he completely roasts the palms coverage over the top. So. This is a little bit of a way that you can really work against match coverage with just using what you already have um, in a play. One other coverage I want to hit on just briefly is the cover six invert. And this is basically um, kind of a hybrid coverage, but it's the same rules really. And I think the cover six is a lot weaker, um, but it's basically palms, you know, and as you can see here, um, sometimes that quarter zone will actually go play Devonte adams honestly sometimes he doesn't so you know that's one of those things and you know when you can give up a one play touchdown like that that's the issue for me because again let's say that they go um let's say that the offense goes into tight end corner it's the same concept cover six uses the same principles and now you know you see here that this you know this post route to to Austin it got picked right there I should have streaked the tight end but the other thing that will really help some of the things too is using more vertical routes if you want to really glitch out the cover uh, the cover four palms and stuff but you know typically the quarters is a lot easier to beat from bunch um, I think that quarter quarters really does a good job um, because whoever you know you see here I mean you get basically get a one-on-one -on -one matchup and then obviously you have your your option route backside to your running back that you can check down to. So that's just a little bit, you know, we show in the ebook how to deal with the match coverage. We show you how to 
how to basically deal with really anything that anyone's going to throw at you. Um, and so if you want to get that full offensive ebook, that link for you is available in the description of this video. It's just 15 bucks. Um, for just 15 bucks, you're going to be able to learn everything that I need to teach you um, for you to be able to be successful on the offensive side of the ball. So I would highly encourage you to pick that up. And again, if you have any questions about it, or maybe you're still saying I'm on the fence and you'd like to get a free sample ebook, um, I have those available for you. So I have a one hour free preview of this ebook available in my text message membership, which the text message membership is completely free to sign up for. Literally all you have to do is pull out your cell phone and text me. My cell phone number is 812 216 3644. So I uh, just wanted to let you know that. And if you need it, if you need it written down, it's in the top left hand corner. It's also in the description of this video for you. But again, um, that's a little bit about the offense. If you guys are interested, let me know. I think this offense will help you. I think it's helped a lot of people so far, and I think it's going to continue to do that. So thanks for your time, and we'll see you guys in the next video.